this very video i'll be teaching about the sine and cosine equivalence or rather how sine and cosine are related now sine and cosine are actually two similar um trigonometric functions so they're very similar now how do we know them can we convert from sine to cosine or is there a particular angle in cosine that can relate to its brother in sine that is what we're trying to do here now please take note the angles of sine and cosine are complementary angles what are complementary angles these are angles that sum up to 90 degrees remember you can learn about angles by watching that very video over there so these very angles means when you plus them you always get what 90 degrees now see this then means that sine theta will then become cos 90 degrees minus theta that's because the sum of their angles is always equal to what 90 degrees the sum of these angles now let us leave that part the next one will then become what am i going to do next cos theta can also become sine what 90 minus theta that's the meaning so it can be like this it's possible we can have this very guy so this is the basic formula for sine and cosine equivalence but many a times i personally do not use it but see where i use it question one find the cosine equivalent find the cosine equivalent of sine 75 degrees for example something like this find the cosine equivalent of sine 75 degrees so first things first first things first sine 75 degrees is going to be equal to cos 90 minus 75 degrees that's just what you do whatever angle you have here you have to say minus that very angle from what 90 so this being sine 75 degrees is equal cos 90 minus 75 will give you what 15 so it means the answer sine 75 is equal to what cos 15 that's very simple if we check it out right now 75 plus 15 is 90 so this is how you convert from sine to what cosine question 2 will be an equation given that given that sine x is equal cos x comma you are asked to find what x so this is the question given that sine s is equal to cos s the question says find x now ideally ideally you can change sine to cos or change cos to sine but i don't want to do that so what i would just do to save myself stress since they said these two things are equal to each other and i remember that they are always what complementary angle what does that mean if i add their angles i'm going to get what 90. so it means when i say s plus x this x your my answer is what 90 degrees s plus s is 2x equal 90 degrees so what do i do next to get my x divide both sides by what by 2. so this is s equal 90 degrees over 2 which is what 45 degrees that's the meaning so s is what 45 degrees so it means sine 45 is equal cos 45 and that's very true very very true now let us proceed with this question 3 if sine 3x minus 18 degrees is equal to cos 51 degrees comma find x if sine 3s minus 18 degrees is equal to cos 51 degrees you are asked to find s now what am i going to do here I'll go, i'm going to do something very simple the angle with sine here is what 3s minus 18 but the angle with cos is what 51 so i will say plus 51 what will be the answer here 90 degrees why did i do this remember i said sine and cosine their angles are always what complementary meaning their angles always sum up to what 90 degrees that was why i said 3s minus 18 plus 51 equal to what 90 degrees so what is minus 18 plus 51 so this is 3s minus 18 plus 51 what would be minus 15 plus 51 so this is 33 
So this is plus 33 equal to 90 degrees. So this is 3s equal 90 degrees. Plus 33 comes over and becomes minus 33. So this is 3s equal 90 minus 33 will give you what? 57. So this is 57 degrees. How do you get your s finally? Divide both sides by what? By 3. So all this gives to you. So this is 19 degrees. So it means S is equal 19 degrees. The last question in this very video will be question 4. The last question is going to be question number 4. So for this very question, we'll be asked to be solving. Given that, given that, sine 3S plus 10 degrees is equal cos x plus 24 degrees, yeah, I think that's all we have, you are asked to solve for x. You are asked to solve for x. So what would this be? It will still be the same thing. It will still be the same thing. The shorter approach is what I'm using. This shorter approach says sum of the angles. Your answer must give you 90. So what does that mean? I'm going to say 3s plus 10 degrees, this is the first angle, plus what is the angle with cos? s plus 24 degrees. What will this be equal to? 90 degrees. It's going to give me 90 degrees. So let me remove the brackets. This is 3s plus 10 degrees plus s plus 24 degrees equal to what? 90 degrees. 3x plus s. 3s plus s will give you what? 4s. 10 plus 24 will give you what? 34. And what would this be equal to? 90 degrees. So this is 4s equal. This plus 34 can go over to this other side. So this is 90 minus 34 degrees. 4s would then be equal to 56 degrees. How do I get my x finally? Divide by 4. So this is 4x divided by 4 equal 56 degrees divided by 4. So S is finally what? 14 degrees. So this is the answer to that very question. And with this, we are done with this very chapter. Subscribe to this very channel. Thank you.